is this the biggest lie Joe Biden has ever told? We'll see, we'll see, but we think we've caught him in the largest lie of his administration. Number one, the Wall Street Journal publishes a bombshell piece saying that the Biden administration is going to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars to criminal migrants who entered our country illegally, weren't asked to come here, and they broke our laws. Now the Biden administration is going to make them millionaires by paying them $450,000 each in a massive settlement from the federal government. This is clearly evil. This is stupid. It's wrong. Joe Biden was asked about it. Here's what he had to say. As you were leaving for your overseas trip, there were reports that were surfacing that your administration is planning to pay illegal immigrants who are separated from their families at the border up to $450,000 each, possibly a million dollars per family. Do you think that that might incentivize more people to come over illegally? If you guys keep sending that garbage out, yeah, but it's not true. So this is a garbage report? Yeah. Okay. So $450,000 $450, per person. Is that what you're saying? That was separated from a family member at the border under, under the last administration. That's not going to happen. Okay. Okay, so that's Joe Biden saying it's not going to happen. It was refreshing to hear it. I like to hear it. I said, okay, well, that's good, I suppose. Joe Biden's wrecking the country, but it's good to know that this isn't going to happen. Oh, the, okay, except for the, the day, this was, I mean, it's, this is like clockwork. The day afterwards, here's the Biden administration saying the exact opposite. At what point are we going to impeach these people for lying to us? Watch. The president is perfectly comfortable with the Department of Justice settling with the individuals and families who are currently in litigation with the U.S. government. You know, DOJ can obviously speak more to that process. The president was what he was reacting to uh, was the dollar figure that was mentioned that you mentioned to him yesterday. Uh, as press accounts to date indicate, there's been press accounts on this. DOJ made clear to the plaintiffs that the reported figures are higher than anywhere that a settlement can can land. Again, this is a this is something that the Department of Justice can can speak to. I, I do not have anything more to add but, to this. And a Fox News reporter um, asked him about reports of possible payments, compensatory payments, up to four hundred and fifty thousand dollars has been the report for separated parents. I, I got the impression the president had not heard about these reports before. Um, but he um, said that's not gonna happen even though, of course, he's the one who had said during the campaign that the separation of these families was shameful and intolerable and not who we are. So how should the government navigate this? I understand that compensation is not DHS's role, but so, still. So there are two, there are two different um, uh, efforts. Uh, and the president has um, adhered with orthodoxy to the words of the past in terms of it's shameful and it's not who we are. Um, the, the, the figures of compensation that is being handled by the Department of Justice is in the context of the Federal Tort Claims Act cases as distinct from the Family uh, Reunification Task Force that we in the Department of Homeland Security operate and bringing those families together. Was the Wall Street Journal report that, that Peter Ducey was asking about, is, is it garbage or not? Jake, this is one of these cases where the president is quite imprecise and leaves it to his staff and us to be the precise ones. So, so here are the true facts. The Wall Street Journal was correct not reporting garbage when it reported that the Biden administration is in discussions to settle lawsuits brought on behalf of families affected by the family separation policy. And the Wall Street Journal was correct in reporting that these settlement discussions include talks of possible financial compensation. In fact, White House Deputy Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre said today at the White House brief that President Biden is comfortable with financial compensation as long as it ends up saving taxpayers money and helps people turn the page from the horrors of the Trump days. So why did President Biden talk about garbage, saying this report was garbage? Well, Jean-Pierre said he was referring specifically to that $450,000 amount the Wall Street Journal cited. Now, as a fact checker, I'm very skeptical of these day after explanations, clarifications that the White House and other politicians offer. In this case, I think it's plausible. If you listen to that exchange between the president and Ducey, uh, he did seem to be referring specifically to the 450000 but I don't think he was very clear about it. I think he should have been clear. 
Now, what amount does the president feel comfortable with, if not 450,000? Karine Jean-Pierre would not say today. What we do know is that after the president's remarks on Wednesday in public, the Department of Justice communicated to people involved in these negotiations, including the American Civil Liberties Union, that the amount, the final amount of the settlement, Jake, had to be lower than 450,000, that that amount was simply too high. Thank you, Daniel Dale. I appreciate it. Also in our politics lead. Thank you for watching. We are 100% independent news. Are you sick of being lied to? We certainly are. That's why we started this channel. But we can't do it without you. We can't keep going without your help. All we ask is that you click like and subscribe and share this video. It's free and it keeps us going. It keeps us growing and it keeps us getting the truth out there to break the rotten corporate media infrastructure that wants to lie to you every single day, wants to corrupt your narrative, your truth, your story, and your very society. So support us by clicking like, clicking subscribe, and thank you, patrons.